みなさん、こんにちは。ローズです。Welcome back to 日本語。元気ですか ?I hope you're doing well. このビデオでは、レッスン37番の文法を紹介します。でも、その前に、レッスン36番の文法を復習しましょう。First, we've learned about 何々ように to express our goal. So, the pattern is verb in potential dictionary form, yoni, and then verb to. For example, nihon de hatarakeru yoni, nihongo o benkyo shimas. I will learn or I will study Japanese so that or in order to be able to work in Japan. We've also learned verb yoni narimas when something changed from one state to another. For example, 日本語が読めるようになります。Which means you will be able to read kanji. Next is to express、um, intention to do habitual or continuous action, which is verb ようにします or verb ようにしています。For example, 毎日ジョギングするようにしています。Which means I try to jog every day. And lastly, we've learned about A とか B とか which is used to give examples. Just like nani nani ya, nani nani nado. For example, dance to ka, suye to ka ga ski des. I like things like swimming, dancing, and so on. Hai, daijobu desu ka? Before we begin, make sure to check out the vocabulary list for this lesson. Hai, if you're ready, lesson 37番の文法を勉強しましょう Here are the grammar points for today's lesson. So, what are passive verbs? So, passive verbs are used when we want to say or express that an action has been done or is directed to another person or to a target. So, that's when we use、um, passive、uh, form of the verb. But before that, Let's learn first how to change regular verbs into its passive form. First is how to change group one verbs into its passive form. All we have to do is change the e syllable into its a syllable and then replace mas with re mas. For example, tanomi mas to ask or request someone to do something. Tanomi mi becomes ma. Tanoma, followed by re mas. And its plain passive form is tanomareru. So mas becomes ru. Tanomareru. Kamimas, meaning to bite, becomes kamare mas. Kamare mas. Or kamareru. Fumimas, to step on, becomes fumare mas. Or fumareru. Shikari mas becomes shikara. Or shikarareru. Torimas, to steal, becomes toraremas or torareru. Okoshimas, to wake someone up, becomes okosaremas or okosareru. Kowashimas, meaning to break something, becomes kowasaremas or kowasareru. Yogoshimas, meaning to make something dirty, becomes yogosaremas. Or yogo sareru. And lastly, okonaimas, or to hold something or to carry an event, the i syllable becomes wa. Okay? So i becomes wa. Oko na wa remas. Oko na wa remas. Or oko na wa reru. For group two verbs, all we have to do is change mas to. Daremas. For example, the verb homemas, meaning to praise someone, it will become home raremas. In plain form, it's home rareru. And for group three verbs, such as kimas to come and shimas to do, you will change kimas to ko. So ki becomes ko and then raremas, koraremas. And in plain form, it's Korareru. So if you notice that the passive form of kimas and the passive form of group 
two verbs are similar to when we make potential form. So, for example, to be able to eat, tabe mas, taberare mas, and to be able to come, korare mas. So, they're the same. So, you will only know which is which depending on the context of the sentence. So, you have to listen and understand what the sentence means. Okay, so let's continue. She must, for its passive form, we change she to sa, and then followed by re mas. Sare mas, or in plain form, sareru. So if we use this in other group 3 verbs, such as shoutai shimas, hakken shimas, yushutsu shimas, or hatsume shimas, so all we have to do is change shimas into sare mas. So shoutai shimas becomes shoutai sare mas, or shoutai sareru. Haken saremas, haken sareru. Yushutsu saremas, yushutsu sareru. Hatsume saremas, hatsume sareru. And so on. Like I said, when we want to express that an action is done or is directed to a person or to a target, and that person receiving the action wants to express his or her point of view, uh, he or she can use this uh, pattern or use the passive verb. So now, the person receiving an action will be the topic and then the doer of the action will be marked with particle ni and a passive verb will be used. Again, the pattern is noun or a person, one, wa, Noun to or the person to, ni, and then followed by the passive verb. So this means person one got something done by person two or person two did or does something to person one. So let's look at the basic sentence pattern. So using regular verb. So in a regular sentence pattern, we have the topic or the doer, wa, target, o, regular verb. Okay. Um, for example, my teacher praised me. So the topic is the teacher, the target is me, and the verb is to praise. So the verb is praise, homemas. So normally, in a regular sentence pattern, we would say sensei wa, because the teacher is the topic. So we mark it with wa. Sensei wa, watashi wo, I'm the target. Homemashita. Praise. So, my teacher praised me. Using passive sentence pattern, we will change the order of the topic and the doer. So, here, the topic is now the target. So, here, the target is here. Or the receiver of the action is here. Now, we will change it to the topic. So, we will mark it with wa. Now the doer will be marked with ni in the passive sentence pattern. So it's the target or the topic, wa, doer, ni. And then instead of regular verb, we will use the passive verb of homemas. Okay? The sentence will now become I was praised by my teacher. So compare the two. In the first sentence, we say, my teacher praised me. So, my teacher is the topic. But in the passive sentence, I am the topic. I was praised by my teacher. So, using this pattern, let's make our sentence. So, again, I, watashi wa, followed by the doer, which is the teacher. Sensei ni, by my teacher, praise, the passive verb is homerare mashita. So remember, this is a verb to, so group to verb. So all we have to do is change mas to rare mas. And then this is in the past form. So we say rare mashita because it's already finished. Watashi wa sensei ni homerare mashita. Another pattern is when the target is marked by ni. So, this is when the verb is directed to a person. So, 
the person is marked by the particle ni instead. So examples of these verbs are kikimas or to ask someone, to ask a person. So that person is marked with ni. Other example is shokaishimas or to introduce to someone, tanomimas, to request or ask a favor from someone. And last is imas, to say, say something to someone. So the the person where this, the verb is directed to is marked with particle ni. So here we have the basic sentence pattern. Again, the doer or the topic, wa, target ni, object o, regular verb. So for example, the sentence is, my mother asked me to go shopping. So our verb is to ask someone or to request someone to do something. So it's tanomimas. So normally, we would say, ha ha wa. So ha ha, mother is the topic. Watashi ni kaimono o. So object o. Regular verb, tanomimashita. Ha ha wa, watashi ni kaimono o tanomimashita. Now, we will say the same sentence but using a passive sentence pattern. So again, we will just change the order of the target and the doer. So we'll just um, switch switch them. So here, the doer goes here, the target goes here. So the target is the topic. So we say, I was asked to go shopping by my mother. Again, the verb is anomimas, which is verb one. Remember how we will change verb one to its passive verb, okay? So let's make our sentence. I, watashi wa, doer, my mother, haha ni, followed by the object or the to go shopping. Kaimono wo tanomaremashita. Watashi wa haha ni kaimono wo tanomaremashita. The doer or the person to can also be an animate object. So, for example, an animal or anything that moves can also be the person to or the doer of the action. For example, I was bitten by a dog. So, I am the topic and the doer is a dog. So, our verb is kamimas, to bite. So, this is also a group one verb. So, let's make our sentence. Watashi wa? Next example. I was scolded by my father. Our verb is scold or shikarimas. Also a verb one. Chichini. So if you notice, when the subject is I or watashi, it is okay to remove it or omit it. It is already understood that you are talking about yourself. So again, you, you can remove watashi wa. Chichi ni. Our verb is shikarimas. It becomes shikararemashita. Chichi ni shikararemashita. Scolded by my father or I was scolded by my father. Next example. I get awakened or I get wakened up by my brother early every morning. So this is a habitual action. So our verb is okoshimas or to wake someone up. Okoshimas. Mai asa every morning. Anini. So again, we remove watashi wa. It's already understood. Mai asa anini. Hayaku okosare teimas. So this is habitual. So every morning. Mai asa ani ni hayaku okosareteimasu. And last example. I was invited to the party by Mr. Shu. Our verb is shotai shimas. So this is a group 3 verb. So we say Shu san ni by Mr. Shu. Party ni shotai 
、シューさんにパーティーに招待されました。Next is using the same pattern but there's a slight difference. This time, the action is being done or is done to the person's belonging. So it's noun one or person one wa, noun two, person two, ni, and then we have the object or the belonging of the first person or person one. O, and then followed by the passive verb. So this means that. Person two did or does something to persons, to person one's belonging. And the key here is the person is feeling annoyed or troubled by it. So the topic is not the object, but the feeling or the feeling of annoyance from person one. So this is coming from person one's point of view that he or she feels annoyed or troubled by what. The doer did to its belonging, to his or her belonging. So, in the basic sentence pattern, we would usually say the doer wa target no object, so targets possession, then the regular verb. So, this is the basic pattern. For example, my little brother broke my PS4. So, our verb is kowashimas or to break something. So, ototo ga or ototo wa. 私の PS4 を壊しました。弟が私の PS4 を壊しました。So this is the basic or the normal pattern using regular verb. However, if we want to say that I am annoyed by what my brother did, we can use the passive sentence pattern instead. So here we have the target wa, doer ni, object o, and then the passive verb. So the sentence will go like, I got my PS4 broken by my little brother. So here, the speaker or I am emphasizing that I feel annoyed or troubled by what my brother did. So using the passive sentence pattern, Watashi wa ototo ni PS4 wo, our verb kowashimas becomes kowasare mashita. Watashi wa PS4 so, like what I keep saying, this sentence emphasizes the feeling of annoyance or trouble from the speaker's point of view or person one. So, we cannot say, Watashi no PS4 wa ototo ni kowasare mashita. Because the PS4 is not the topic, but the person, the feeling of annoyance from the person is the topic. That's why it should be Watashi wa ototo ni PS4 wo kowasare mashita. Again, person 2 or noun 2 can also be a, an animate object or an animal, anything that moves. For example, a cat or a car and so on. So here, an example I got my hand bitten by a cat. So, our verb is kamimas, to bite. Watashi wa, followed by doer, a cat. Neko ni, our noun three, or the belonging of the speaker is the hand. Te o, kamare mashita. Watashi wa, neko ni, te o, kamare mashita. I got my camera stolen by a thief. Our verb is torimas. To steal. Watashi wa dorobo ni kamera wo torare mashita. Watashi wa dorobo ni kamera wo torare mashita. I got my clothes dirtied by my dog. Our verb is yogoshimas. Watashi wa inu ni fuku wo And last example, I got my foot stepped on by the man in front of me. Our verb is fumimas. Watashi wa mai ni iru otoko ni ashi o fumare mashita. 
。私は前にいる男に足を踏まれました。So, like I said, we use this pattern when we want to express our annoyance. However, we cannot use this when person one or the speaker is grateful for what person two did or if person two did something that person one is grateful for. So, instead, we use the phrase we've learned in lesson 24, which is nani nani te moraimas. Okay, for example, I had my laptop repaired by my friend, or my friend repaired my laptop. So, my friend did something to me that I'm grateful for. So, our verb is shuri shimas, to repair something. So, we can say using the nani nani te moraimas, watashi wa tomodachi ni noto pasokon o shuri shite. もらいました。Literally, I receive repair, repair from my friend. So, 修理してもらいました。That's the literal meaning, but it means that my laptop, or I had my laptop repaired by my friend. So, again, we cannot use 私は友達にパソコンを修理されました。For things that we are grateful for. Okay, so next, when we don't really need to mention the person or the doer of the action, we can just make our、uh, object as our topic by marking it with ga or wa, followed by the passive verb. So this means noun has been verb or an action has been done to a verb, and we don't need to mention the person or the doer of the action. So, for example, an old Japanese painting. Has been discovered in France. So we don't really care who did it, but we just want to say that an old Japanese painting has been discovered. So our verb is discover, hakken shimas, which is a group three verb. So we can say noun ga or wa followed by passive verb. So it's France de in France, mukashi no nihon no e ga. されましたフランスで昔の日本の絵が発見されました。Japanese cars are being exported all over the world. Our verb is export. 輸出します。日本の車は世界中へ輸出されています。日本の車は世界中へ The next Olympics is going to be held in Tokyo. Our verb is to hold something, an event. Okonaimasu. Okonaimasu. 次のオリンピックは東京で行われます Again, for e syllable, we change it to wa. Okonaware. Mas. Tsugi no Olympic wa Tokyo de okonaware mas. Next is when we want to express that something has been created or discovered by someone. So instead of using ni, particle ni, for the doer of the action, we use ni yo te instead. Again, the pattern is. Noun one or the thing, wa. Noun two, the person who discovered or created, followed by ni o te, and then the passive verb. Noun was created or discovered by person. For example, the statue of David was sculpted by Michelangelo. Our verb is to sculpt. Horimas. Davide no chokoku wa. ミケランジェロによって掘られました。ダビデの彫刻はミケランジェロによって掘られました。The telephone was invented by Bell. Our verb is 発明します。To invent. 電話はベルによって発明されました。電
電話はベルによって発明されました。This vaccine was discovered by a Japanese scientist.Our verb is to discover or 発見します。このワクチンは日本の理学者によって発見されました。このワクチンは日本の理学者によって発見されました。So this sentence pattern, noun は noun からおで作ります。is used when we want to state that And something is made from something. So when we use a raw material, so for example,、uh, barley, and we want to make it into a beer, so using that raw material, we process it and make it into a new product, which is a beer. So we use kara. On the other hand, when the material used to make、uh, An object or a noun is obvious to the eyes. For example, when we want to say、um, Japanese houses、uh, were made from wood, so we can see that the material used is wood, so we use particle de. Again, the pattern is noun one, the thing wa is made from. Noun two, thing kara or de skurare mas. Noun is made from or of another noun. For example, beer is made from barley. So the raw material here is barley. Our verb is to cut i m a s or to make. Biru wa barley is mugi. Mugi kara tsukurare m a s Again, so since the Raw material has been processed. We will use kara made from. So it's like we extract something from barley and then make it into something else. That's why we use kara. Another example in the past, Japanese houses were all made of wood. Mokashi, Nihon no ie wa, Zenbu, all, ki de. So here, Since it's obvious, so wood, and then we see a wood house. The material is very obvious to the eye, so we use de made of. Ki de tsukurare mashita. Mokashi nihon no ie wa zenbu ki de tsukurare mashita. So it's in the past, that's why we use tare mashita. And last example, this bag is made of abaka. Abaka is A fibrous uh, material uh, from a banana tree. So you can see that in the Philippines. Kono kaban wa abaka de tsukurare mashita. Kono kaban wa abaka de tsukurare mashita. Hai, ijo des. Kono lesu wa do des ka? Moshi, sumon ka, komento ga ta ra, shita ni kaite kudasai. あとはこのビデオが役に立ったら、Like ボタンと Subscribe ボタンを押してください。And don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future lessons. 今日ありがとうございました。I'll see you in the next one. またねー。